Tell me where you get the stem cells from that you use in these procedures. The umbilical cord's cut, baby's taken away, and then some short time thereafter, mother delivers the afterbirth, which includes the placenta and the umbilical cord and the amnion, and all of that tissue is rich in, in, in cells, and these cells are they're basically biologic garbage and they're, they're, they're thrown away. So what we do is we take that tissue, you've reset the clock, these are day zero cells from a baby that was just born. They have a high degree of ability to reproduce and to secrete the things, the three major things that we know that they do in the body. They secrete a, a batch of molecules that stimulate regeneration, that decrease inflammation and modulate the immune system. So their main body their main job in the body is to maintain the status quo. So when you're sick, you're not maintaining the status quo. When you're 70, you're not maintaining the status quo. Look at yourself, look at a picture of you 10 years ago or 20 years ago. You haven't maintained the status quo, things are going south. And so these cells, their job is to maintain the status, status quo. And that's why I think they're so important for, for aging research and for chronic illness. What I do myself and what, what I think is gonna be Ultimately, the answer for a lot of age-related decline and age-related chronic diseases is taking young, healthy stem cells, for example, from umbilical cord, and using those to supplement what you have. Because not only do they, they do the job of the stem cells that you used to have, but they also stimulate what you have left to behave younger. So. They are the reason you renew yourself. And, you know, one question I get quite often is, how can these stem cells treat so many conditions? And the simple answer to that is the root cause of most of those conditions is lack of stem cells. Either lack of stem cells or the ones you have left aren't working properly. So if the common cause is that, then it would make sense that, it, that the, the treatment of choice would be replacement of those stem cells with ones that are healthy and ones that are, are active. There are two main kinds of stem cells. Neil uses mesenchymal stem cells, MSCs. These MSCs are found throughout your body, so um, you can get them from the fat, you can get them from the bone marrow. Uh, you, every, every organ has MSCs in it. And from the from, if you have a tooth taken out, you can take MSCs from that. But the problem with those MSCs is that they're as old as you are. And a lot of our patients are advanced age. Not only just the age, but they're dysfunctional. Like if you have an autoimmune disease, and lupus has demonstrated that your MSCs are messed up, they're dysfunctional, they don't operate properly. Uh, with MS, multiple sclerosis, we know that your MSCs do not function well. Uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, we know the MSCs do not function well. So we use day zero cells are from umbilical cord. So after a, a live healthy birth of a cesarean section, then we take, uh, you know, the baby's delivered, the umbilical cord's cut, and that umbilical cord comes to our laboratory and we isolate the MSCs from that umbilical cord tissue to treat thousands of patients. If you're healthy, if you're, you know, 25 years old and fit, you won't feel a thing when you get those cells, you know, and, and the actual infusion is nothing, right? Just it's a five minute IV. It's quicker than an intravenous vitamin C drip, you know. And um, to see the transformations is quite incredible. But the, if you're young and healthy, your MSCs are in great shape, right? But the sicker somebody is and the older they are, they have what we would consider an MSC exhaustion condition. So the young cells, when they're in contact with the old MSCs, they actually reprogram the old MSCs to act more like young MSCs. So, so their turnover time is quicker. So just to give you an example, if you take MSCs from a newborn, uh, they'll divide about every 24 hours. So you start with one cell and you let them divide in, in the laboratory for 30 days, you'll have a billion cells. So you take the same cell from a 35 year old and it divides around every 48 hours, right? And that sounds linear, you know, from 24 to 48, but at the end of a month you have 32,000 cells instead of a billion. And if you take from a 65 year old, the average doubling time is 60 hours. And you do the math on that, at the end of a month you have 200 cells. Well, if, if the repair that's required 
requires a thousand cells or five thousand cells or ten thousand cells, you're always going to lose, right? If you're in that condition, so that's why at at, at later ages, people have such a dramatic response is because they're always deficient on the repair side and these cells help their cells uh, behave younger and, and, and basically do more repair. So you can summarize what the, the, what the umbilical cord, what all MSCs do, but the umbilical cord being day zero cells, what they're able to do um, very robustly is decrease inflammation, um, stimulate regeneration, and also modulate the immune system. Because they are the cells that modulate our immune system. They, they direct traffic. So if, if um, they actually do it both ways, if there's not enough immunity, they'll upregulate certain things. They're, they're, they're hardwired, programmed to respond to different conditions. So, and if there's too much, there's too much inflammation, they'll actually produce anti-inflammatory things to shut it down. So it doesn't matter which way, which way you are, th their job is to maintain homeostasis. And so as we get older, uh, our, the robustness of those, our cells and their capacity to do those things decreases. When you add the umbilical cord, the young cells, they reprogram the old cells to behave more young and you get those the decrease in inflammation, modulation of the immune system, and stimulate regeneration. One of the craziest things is that they donate mitochondria to damaged cells. So, you know, you're the, the mitochondria are the energy producers of the cells, and uh, MSCs will actually triage cells. So they'll circulate through the body, they'll triage, and they, they can sense whether the cell has enough mitochondria in it to survive or if it's out of mitochondria, it'll just pass it by. If, it's, if, it's out, if the mitochondria level is too low, it'll just say, well, you know, too bad, you're dead, and then move on to the next cell and say, oh, well, this one, this one has plenty of mitochondria, pass that by. Oh, this one, you know what, if I donate mitochondria into this one, it'll survive.